Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Nate, uh, good to see you again. And today we are going to be opening up three of these uh, I believe blaster boxes of a Walgreens exclusive. Uh, found these just the other day. Uh, pretty cool story, uh, story on these actually. They were, uh, they rang up as $27 each, which is a bit above the traditional retail cost, but they were still marked as $20. Uh, so yeah, ended up getting uh, three boxes for what was supposed to be the cost of four. So let's jump right into it. We're looking for some big hits today. We pulled some uh, Topps Baseball 2022, uh, the non-heritage series, which you see here in the background, uh, pulled those just the other day. And uh, for, for these lower end retail boxes, actually had a couple of a uh, couple of okay hits. So looking looking to do the same today. Maybe we can get something just extra spicy. So let's get right into it and see what we've got today. The opening three of these boxes, and uh, this has been something that uh, has just been fun. As as you know, this is something that I've just kind of recently got back into have really been enjoying this okay so the the heritage boxes actually come with eight packs each um so that's pretty good let's see uh let's start cracking these open and see what we've got here all right first one what are we going to be starting with all right well cedric mullins outfielder nice Love the love the old school look of these heritage cards. That's that's pretty nice there. Actually, let me uh, let me get my light on for us here so we can all see the cards better. Uh, that will be nice. There we go. There we go. You want to see those those rookies nice and larger than life. Still not quite figured out what the uh, I guess it's the all star rookie is what the uh, that indicates on there. They're in the bottom bottom corner there. Um, I'm not actually 100% sure what the what the larger hits are in this series. These are pretty cool, though. Oh, an action shot steals home. And what have we got in the back? Nice little rookie as well, Alfonso Rivas. All right. Well, let's keep going. What have we here? So if you like this video, we've been we've been pulling a uh, little bit of everything: some some contenders baseball, contenders basketball, tops baseball. Uh, really, just finding out what I enjoy pulling the most, and then uh, let me know what you enjoy seeing the most, and we will be doing more of that. All right, Soto, Pavin Smith. Who's your favorite team? I, I grew up a little bit of a of a Padres fan myself. Hmm, not a lot of rookies here. There we go. Manual clay. Oh, oh. Hopefully we're not getting trolled here with something being backwards. Usually that's a good sign. Um, what do we have? Oh, we got trolled. We got trolled. Something backwards sometimes means it's an autograph or uh, okay, nothing, uh, nothing big there, but uh, a suspenseful moment. Not, uh, not too bad. We'll, we'll take a good suspenseful moment. All right, a Lars action. Mariners third base. I wonder if we go through at the end of these, what will have the the most position wise? Is it going to be the pitchers? Are they more prevalent? Mike Trout. Hey. Got to gotta love a little Mike Trout action, even if it's not a, uh, a rookie or anything. Everybody loves Mike Trout. Flashback, 1973, 660th career home run. That's pretty cool. Nice. And then we have here, National League, American League. Huh, that's pretty cool. And another rookie card, Cal Raleigh, Mariners. Keep rolling. So the tops baseball, the reg regular, not the uh, the heritage ones, uh, had some really interesting stuff. I'd like to see some uh, some special special things in here as well, and we shall see. World game two. Okay, 
Nice. I like those. Kind of those the specific moments. Those those are pretty cool. Uh, they have some some good memories attached to them. Wonder wonder what years you can get. I'd love to see one uh, from the year that the Cubs won the World Series. Buster Posey. Cool. Right there, starting off with the little rookie action. Jackson Kawar. Move this stack just a little bit there. All right. That guy, just, just, just enjoying his time. Look at that, just looking off into the sunset. All right. Xander Bogan. Okay, we're definitely getting trolled again, right? All-time all bases leader. Back, backward card should mean something. Okay, okay. Hank Aaron. Man. You know, we don't see players like this anymore. The game has changed significantly. Home run leaders. Tatis. Troy Park. Cool. Now, as you may know, if you've watched a couple of my videos, you know, just getting back into the hobby, I've actually missed out on a lot of sports in general over the last few years. Uh, just not had the, the time to dedicate towards it like I did uh, for years and years. So if if you see something that is uh, quite a quite a big hit, something that I've missed, uh, let me know. Um, let, let me know how stupid I am for not already knowing uh, that something is just amazing and I passed right by it. I would love to uh, love to get some insight. Maybe people that have been in the hobby a while. Um, okay, new age performers. That's the first one that we've seen. Interesting. Hmm. It's kind of have a, a more uh, cardboard look and feel than a lot of cards. Um, maybe that's just because they're a little bit more of a lower end product, or maybe it's just in the. Uh, heritage lineup, trying to keep with that uh, old school, old school vibe. Uh, either way, I know that you can get both autographs and relics in this set, but obviously, being a lower in retail set, uh, they are going to be few and far between. There we go, Max rookie, Adam Wainwright. Man, hasn't he been in the league forever? remember playing some uh, baseball games as a kid that he was in. And Griffin Jacks, Minnesota Twins rookie. All right, last of the first blaster box. Let's see if we can't get one, one nice little hit to finish out this first box. Mike Zanini. That's a good action shot right there. You don't get nearly the same, uh, you know, with these heritage cards. You you're definitely more more old school. Just kind of the the card for the card itself. Uh, a lot of the newer stuff so flashy. Again, uh, one one of these times we're gonna have one of these backwards cards being just an absolute gem. But uh, I don't know. Maybe I will. Uh, Let's, let's set this one aside so that I can look and see if maybe that's something different. It's consistent enough, it seems like there may be something to those. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna set it off to the side. I have a stack of kind of cards that are a little more unknown to me. So let's get this next box open. Where is, there we go. Now we also have, coming up, I'll have some uh, Donruss packs that will be opening. Um, let's see, uh, those are going to be just a little bit of a, of a sneak peek here. I've uh, got some Donruss hanger boxes, a um, couple of those that we'll be doing in uh, the next video actually. So uh, if you're interested in seeing a little more baseball pulls, stick around and we'll see what we get. All right, so eight more. We've got our stacks here. 
and let's keep breaking these open. All right, love to see some some good rookies in here. Max Muncy. Oh, if we got we got a little something peeking through there. Okay, so let's uh, let's make sure that we don't pull that one next. So we'll pull from the back here. What did we? Have? That one's got some some gloss to it. Definitely out of the the norm here. So let's see if we can see Astros outfield. Oh, and we've got one card. I'm just just trolling you here. There's one card in between. Another rookie. Let's let let's let Lars let us know. Okay. Hmm. Michael Brantley. Is this a number? It does not appear to be numbered, but uh, be interested to see. Let's look at this box here real quick and see if we can't find. Oh, upside down. Let's see if we can't find what some of the odds are in some of these chrome refractors, chrome black border. Well, I will. Uh, I'll look at that and I'll put it in the uh, notes of the video so you can see what what the chances are of pulling something like that. And uh, not someone that I'm particularly familiar with. Uh, please feel free to yell at me in the comments if I should know who this is. Um, obviously, a rookie would have been even better, but we are not sad about that. That's. That's definitely a hit for this type of pack opening. So let's keep rolling here. Anything? Uh, oh, did did we go? Did we go two in a row with something a little exciting? All right, all right. Well, maybe this is our this is our rookie uh, our rookie with something a little special. Ooh, and and we've got the uh, all right. Let's pull from the back. We're calling this good luck that our card is flipped around in front of it. All right. Any, so here we got. So Reds, third base. Okay, infielders look better than outfield. Mike Moustakis, Cincinnati Reds. Okay. And then uh, we've got a, a rookie, Eli Morgan, here. Oh, hang on, let me pick that up off the ground. Try not to bump the camera. And uh, definitely, let me grab uh, a couple of these sleeves here. We'll go ahead and put these, at least, in our sleeves. Should be putting them in sleeves anyways. And since I actually have them up here with me this time no reason not to protect those cool so the first box had none and then we've had two in two packs can we go can we go three for three was uh was that just good luck or did we have bad luck in the first pack not sure yet let's find out oh immediately i don't know if you can see that okay maybe our first one was just bad luck is this a Hang on, let me see here. This was our box. I wanna make sure I'm not looking at a different box than what we just opened. Um, let, me find that, let me find that first box here. So these are, these are the two boxes. So it is, it is in fact the same product. I think we just got, uh, it seemed like we got unlucky in the first one. Uh, to have another something fun peeking out there, let's uh, let's get to it. Let's not uh, let's not just hype this up for nothing. We, we don't want to be just a tease. Tatis, I like Tatis. We'll put him in this stack here. And then, so we've got one more before we get. Oh, flashback, Battle of the Sea. Oh, interesting. So we actually have a flashback to a non-baseball uh, Battle of the Sexes. 
that's actually kind of cool. I did not know you could uh, you could hit that. Oh, wins the World Series game six. Okay. What else we got? Pull from the back. And let's see. First off, what team we got? White Sox outfield. No rookie. Wait a second. Wait a second. Little, little Luis Robert. Okay, even as little as I, I truly understand about baseball right now, this is a name I'm familiar with. Hopefully, that is actually quite a decent hit. Cool. Well, this is getting exciting. I uh, that, that first blaster box, I was honestly a little disappointed uh, to not pull anything just real exciting, but uh, three, three in a row now. Okay, here's the real trick. Are, are we lucky enough to go for four? Can we go four in a row? Yeah? Okay, something was up with that first box. Do I, do I need to get a refund? What is going on? Or maybe there was just something real sneaky good in there, or I am just the luckiest guy. Albert Pujols, Miguel Cabrera. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. Uh, I grew up. I grew up watching Pujols at the uh, the old Cardinal Stadium. Oh well, we've we've already seen. Got a sneak peek. That that's Atlanta Braves. We're not we're not going to get any more sneak peek. Maybe this one will be our rookie. Oh, imagine imagine if we get a little rookie action here. So let's pull from the back for a second. Adam Wainwright, second time. Another Max. Max was good luck to us last time. So, all right. So let's see what we've got here. So, first base, Braves. Freddie Freeman. Good stuff. Good stuff. Huh. Now, what's interesting, I'm curious. These two seem to have a actual textured background. Oh, I guess this one does too. All right. I'm tripping. All right, let's get a sleeve for this one. Cool, after that uh, first blaster box, I didn't expect to need more than just a, a couple sleeves. Hopefully, four, four in a row. Man, this is, this is gonna be, uh, I'm gonna feel real silly if the reality is you're supposed to get these types of hits in that first box and we just got worst luck ever. So peeking in, okay, well, I, I think maybe we just got really unlucky in the first one. Come, comment below. Let me know. Am I am I super lucky here? Is this the the best blaster box of Topps Heritage ever? Because there's a there's another something fun peeking through there and a backwards card with it. Dan Duffy, pull from the back. Stolen base leaders. Okay. Can we find a rookie? No. <gasps> there we go. Mike Trout. You don't have to know anything about baseball to know that name. Too bad it's not his, his rookie year, but I will take a, a Mike Trout. All right. That's, that's a little bit of a hit right there. I'm quite happy about that. Even if it's just for... Uh, good buddy of mine his son is a massive trout and mookie bets fan uh, maybe the card's not even worth anything and it'll be a fantastic gift to give away all right well just mangled that pack oh, so satisfying ripping the packs and that's kind of what i miss from a kid is uh one of the reasons i got back into this was there's just there's just a, a joy in, in opening packs like this you guys know or you wouldn't be watching. Okay, it, it has to be either, I'm gonna have to look more specifically, either this is a different product than what we were looking at before, and I'm gonna have to look at those boxes real carefully, or we, we got screwed on the first, or this is just amazingly lucky on the second. Comment below, let me know, because I don't know at this point in the video, you let me know, am I just super lucky or super unlucky? Pull from the back here. All right. 
Come on, let's have a rookie this time. Yankees. There we go, Torres. Shortstop and second base. Awesome. What do you think? What do you think the biggest hit of this box is so far? Uh, we're definitely, definitely doing better this box. Uh, no doubt about it. What is going on with that one? All right, so let's see. Yeah, okay. It, there's there's no doubt in my mind. This, this is a different product. For some reason, something is different. There's no way we would have got none of these in the first box. And then one in every single pack so far. Um, even I'm not that lucky, and I like to consider myself quite a lucky guy. Will Smith. He's changed a lot since I saw him in I Am Legend. It's all right, go, go in the way of uh, Michael Jackson. And uh, everybody loves Michael. All right, so we'll pull from the back here. Okay. Otani, I like Otani. How about a rookie? Giants. Buster Posey. Okay. You know, it's interesting. So this is, uh, no, okay, not the first one. I was thinking it was the first one that the, the lettering was in a different color. But, uh, no, we've we've had another that the lettering was different like this. But uh, awesome. Buster Posey. Grab another sleeve here. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm convinced but that, that first box had to have been something different. So we'll have to see is this is this second box, is that the the same as the first? Or do we get lucky and it's the same as the second? Either way, this, this box has been a lot more fun to open just because it's uh, been exciting. A little, little something special in here. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. I don't know. Does that make me feel less excited about this now when I thought I was hitting uh, something special every time? And we've got a, a trusty backwards Karn, little Marco Gonzalez protecting our our bigger pull here. All right, can we get a rookie finally? Tampa. Okay, okay, there we go. We asked for it. And we got it. A all-star rookie, Randy, oh, I'm going to butcher this last name, a Rosarena. Nice. Cool. Good stuff. All right. Well, the second box was much, much more fun to open than the first one. Uh, first one, I was thinking I would probably never be buying this product again just because it wasn't exciting to pull. But now, uh, we, we, may, we may have to change that thought. May have to change that thought. That was much more exciting. And uh, let's see what we can do on the next one here. All right. Last Black Blaster box of the video here. Eight more packs. Can we pull an auto? Let's do it. We've we've got the luck. Luck's on our side. I feel lucky. Even even if not. Okay. Let's let's decide who. Uh, which which of these are we opening first? This, this here feels like my lucky one. We're going to put that all the way at the back. Make the make the big banger. So there, oh, we got two. Okay, now now we got to decide wh which of these. Left, right, left, right. We're going with the right one. Right is always right. All right. We are going to move some of this stack. It just feels a little, uh, little unstable. Make sure I'm not going to knock things over. And this, the second stack here being so large, this is a problem that happens when you don't know enough to know to separate things ahead of time. And so then I end up scanning them and seeing if I've missed anything. Uh, that is one thing that I do. I do scan uh, basically all the cards 
uh, just to understand uh, and learn more about both the, the hobby and, and the sport. So I uh, always, always like to, to know a little more. There we go. Okay, so this one's interesting. I think this is the first one we've seen like this where it's had a Topps All-Star Rookie and the, the Rookie logo. Um, does that mean the last one that we pulled here, that this is not, in fact, a rookie, even though it has the Topps All-Star Rookie labeling on it? You let me know. But we're going to put this one, uh, I'll sleeve that one in a second, uh, as I think that's something just a little more a uh, little more out there that we've not, not seen from these others. Okay, and by the way, we're back to no special card in this pack. So, interesting. Interesting. What do you think about that? Did, did I get two different types of boxes? Uh, I'll have to put a put a, uh, a note in the description of the video if it was actually different ones because this as well as you can see does not have our uh, signature kind of card that we had before. Interesting. It has to be different types. There's no way that we got either super super lucky or just crazy unlucky. Oh, I apologize if it's paused the video because my camera is low on battery. Give me one second. All right, we're back. I don't know what that did to video quality, but we are still here. Still here. Nice little Buster Posey. So here's my thought because that, that oh, okay, I see what it is. It's in a font that's uh, more in line with the, the team colors. That's where I was talking about different uh, font colors there. Okay, home run leaders. All right, next pack. We are down to just our last few here. Hmm, okay, so this, on the front, let me see one of these other, uh, is it appears that they do say the same. Not, nine cards packed with special insert may contain only five to eight cards. So is that what we're talking about? Did we just get this being a special insert? I didn't notice if they had less cards or not. Hmm. I didn't know to look for that, but I will know next time. Okay. Oh, it's just a backwards card. Trolled me. Trolled me. Report. So I thought that was going to be another one of our special inserts. Alex Cobb. Cool. Underwhelming pack. Not a big deal. Saves Leaders 2021. Cool. All right. Nothing too exciting in the last two. We had our, our moments there, but we've still got four packs left. Plenty of time to find something a little bit special. The rookie. Okay, nothing crazy there. All right, well, I don't know. Maybe maybe, uh, maybe I am feeling like we just got real lucky with that entire second box. How cool would that be if it was just all that luck? Yeah, nothing, uh, nothing crazy here. Go back and watch and let me know how many cards were in the packs that had our insert ones here. Let me know what you think. Griffin Jacks. All right. Last two. This is what we said. Oh, oh, that's why. Okay. I didn't even end up putting my lucky packs at the bottom. Good, because they weren't lucky. I thought that I had uh, just overlooked two more with, with uh, our 
player on the front. So, you, you tell me right now, which, which of these is the better pack? Mini, mini pack battle, right here. I'm sticking anything on just my uh, commons pile that's a uh, little more than a common. All-time shutout leader, Walter Johnson. Cool. Did we have uh, no rookies in that pack, huh? Huh. Okay. Well, unless that uh, Walter Johnson is just a more surprising card than I thought, then here we go. Last pack. Let's make it an exciting one. Still got a chance. There is always hope for potential of a, I don't know, let's see here. Redemption card. What if we got a redemption card in the last one here? It could happen. Chances are low, but you never know. Never, never know. All right. Chris Taylor. Right, did we did we see anything exciting back here? Nothing nothing crazy. Alright. Then and now. Well, yeah, they've cha changed so much over the years, he doesn't at all look like he did then as he does now. Bad joke. <laughs> it's alright when you're sitting here talking to yourself for 30 minutes, it happens. Alright, well guys, that that is it. Let's uh Let's look at uh, what I believe to be our hits, which are the, the inserts, and, and maybe we did. We just got uh, super lucky here. Uh, the Mike Trout is probably my favorite, and uh, yeah. Well, I appreciate everybody being here for this. Tune back in soon for another video. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon.